Well, Gideon Levy is an author and columnist with the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. He joins us now from Tel Aviv. Good to have you with us. So what thinking do you think will prevail as the war cabinet decides on its next steps, Gideon? Hopefully nothing. You see, Sami, uh, if Israel is going to launch now an attack on Iran, we are facing a regional war. I cannot even imagine myself this happening, especially not after last night, especially not after the very clear and impressive aid of, is of the United States to Israel. Israel has to follow right now the American advice not to retaliate. Israel cannot retaliate without the support of the United States. Do you think that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sees it that way? Does he see it? it's in his personal political interest to launch an attack and to even have a further escalation with Iran that might drag the US into it? Until now, we didn't hear him saying anything, which is a good sign. And I think that uh, he understands at least the fact that without a backing of the United States, Israel cannot launch such, such an attack and be exposed then to maybe a worse attack than last night. Who is going to protect Israel then if he's going to do it independently against the advice of President Biden? So as long as logic prevails, and I hope it is still the case, Israel does not have an option to retaliate and shouldn't do it. By the way, the retaliation was yesterday. The fact that Iran couldn't penetrate the, uh, the defensive system of Israel is enough of a, of a revenge. Just listening to what you're saying, has what happened last night highlighted Israel's dependence on the U.S. and its Western allies? Many of the missiles and drones, we're told, were shot down by Israel's allies before they entered Israeli airspace. Yes and no, Sami. Yes, you are right. Part of the missiles were launched by the... but were stopped by the allies. But by the end of the day, it was also orchestrated by the Israeli Air Force the Israeli Air Force, the technology, the systems, part of them are Israeli-made. And I wouldn't underestimate the capability of Israel yesterday. Would Ukraine had the same system and allies like Israel, Ukraine would have been in a different place today. Mm -hmm. Although most of the Iranian rockets and drones, it seems, were intercepted, is there a strategic turning point that has happened here in that, for the first time, you have an attack being launched from Iran on Israel and Israel losing the concept of deterrence with Iran? Yes, on one hand, we lost the deterrence on Iran. On the other hand, we gained a very efficient uh, defense system. For years, Israel was frightened from this day, the day that Iran will attack Israel. And here comes this day, or if to be more precise, the night, and nothing happens. That's also a lesson for Israel. I don't think it's a guarantee for the future, by the way. We shouldn't be sure that it will be always like this, and we will always have the same allies with the same devotion. But yesterday, on one hand, Israel lost the deterrence. On the other hand, it gained the reputation of a very, very good defensive system. OK, thanks so much. Gideon Levy there. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.